Hi YouTube, this is Cameron Simpson from CS Trades 101. Thank you for joining me here today. I'm not a financial advisor or broker. This is for entertainment purposes only. So we got some interesting news here. Um, this is strictly a news podcast. I'm not covering any stocks until later today. I'll be back on at 6.25 Pacific Standard Time, Eastern Standard Time. I'll be on at 9.25. So you can join me there. You just All you have to do is subscribe down below. So anyways, enough of that. Let's jump in on the news here. We got some really good news on a lawsuit that just got launched by um, a law firm. Okay, so this is to do with the January 21st, the short squeeze trading um litigation against um, Robinhood. There's a bunch of them. I'll go through them. It's uh, Robinhood, E-Trade, uh, uh, TD America Trade, Marvin Capital, Shitadel, and others. There's like 35, uh, 50 of them, 50, sorry, correction, 50 plus class action lawsuits against these guys. Okay, so I'm going to go just breeze through there because I'm going to leave a link down below. Um, and you can just click on it and there's a lot of reading here and you, you're welcome to browse through it. Okay, um, we're all aware of the short squeeze um, positions and them trying to cover it and it put, it did G, GME uh, squeezed it and um, these trading platforms, it happened to me too. I went to, to sell or buy. Uh, they locked the platform out. You couldn't get on it for, I think it was a day. Some of them were a day and a half, right? Not acceptable. I, I knew that these lawsuits were coming, but I just didn't know um, which law firm would uh, step up to the plate and take on a hedge, hedge firms. Okay, so anyways, <clears throat> so let's jump on in here. Okay, um, okay, several large hedge firms, and including investment firms, including Defendants Capital, uh, Citadel, and Marvin Capital, uh, for massive short squeeze positions in relevant securities, shorts, lend, borrow, and interest in corporate stock. Okay, I'm not going to get into that because it's pretty, it's pretty uh, self-explanatory. I just wanted to get into the companies that it, that um, it uh, affected, that they were short positions in big time. Some of them up to 140 percent. Okay, so retail investors held shares in 12 companies: GameStop, which is ticker symbol GME, uh, ticker symbol M. AMC, which is Entertainment uh, Holdings, it's a it's a um, it's a movie chain. Okay, um, American Airlines (AAL) ticker symbol, uh, Bath Bed Bath and Beyond (BBBY) is the ticker symbol, and then we got good old BlackBerry at BB ticker symbol. Um, Cos um, is K O S S. Naked Brand Group is N A K D. And there's actually Nokia's in there too, and okay. And then Sundial Growers is S N D L. Okay, and this is one I didn't know is uh, Tucci Roll Industries. I had no idea that that was involved in the short squeeze. Um, so that is ticker symbol T R. Okay, and there's a bunch of other ones there. You can go through, and this is the um, short positions. Here's the hundred and forty percent. Um, such as institutional investors could not close their positions. That's exactly what I was just talking about. Okay, it was unacceptable, unacceptable. Um, they were caught up in a classic so short squeeze. And I just wanted to uh, go over that. And um, I'm going to jump on to another page here. Okay, it, what the lawsuit is, is a, is a short squeeze antitrust litigations. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, yeah, here it is. It's a class action lawsuit on behalf of retail investor class in federal court against 35 defendants, including, not excluding, um, Robinhood, E-Trade, TD Ameritrade, and Marvin Capital, Shitadel, and, um, and others. Okay, so there's, uh, you can go through all this. This is a good, good, good read. So I will drop it down below. As you know, um, CS Trades 101, we covered the breaking news. We try to get it ahead of everybody else here. Um, so if you want to get more news, just hit the subscription button down below. And we also have podcasts that cover live daily stocks. So if you wanted to join the Wolfpack, you know what to do. And Wolfpack, keep it real. And I'll see you in a couple minutes for another podcast. Oh, if you want to join my broker down below, you there's uh, links down below, awesome links to follow. You can get yourself $10 Canadian um, into well simple trades. And um, just uh, you need to put $100 or more in to activate the voucher. Take her easy.